I just wanted to share some data that we collected. You see, revolution is a science. And since we have an actual pro revolutionary program, like I know you don't have a no, real talk though. So we have data. <clears throat> and so what our data tells us uh, is that about 30% of you, um, your partners weren't allowing you to join organizations. Baffling, right? So at first I thought, well, this this must be a patriarchy thing. Then I discovered that uh, you know, well, the data showed us that as many or more women were actually blocking their partners from joining revolutionary or organizations. So it's actually across the board, about 30 or 35 percent of you are not functioning in revolutionary organizations because your romantic partners don't want you to and you're not able to stand up to them. And I just want you to know, if, you're, <clears throat> if your romantic partner won't let you join a revolutionary organization, you need a new romantic partner. Your priorities should be revolutionary. Uh, you should be authentic. Um, this is that thing I'm saying about the movement in the so-called U.S. really being composed of a few million posers because you're not able to live a life of integrity. So do better. Or rise to the occasion. Actually join and be active in a hardcore, anti-colonial, revolutionary organization or please SH. T-F-U and scoot over. Red power.